Oliver was a cheeky 18 year old young man, gorgeous rosy cheeks, always up for a laugh. He passed his test, no problems, and he went off to a young farmer's meeting with a friend. And on the way home, the road conditions weren't brilliant, wet, November night, and Oliver lost control on a rural lane and crashed into a tree, killing both him and his passenger. He had a black box attached to his car, and all data showed that he wasn't, you know, he, he pushed the speed limit, but he wasn't an excessive driving. He was a sensible driver. There was never any alcohol involved. He wasn't on his phone. It was just down to lack of experience. I feel as though there needs to be more education for young drivers. They pass their test, and they're given a set of keys, and they think, that's it, I know it all, I can get in a car, and I can just drive anywhere. And I just think anything that can help and educate young drivers and make them aware of any risks and dangers out there, then on the roads, is only can be a positive. It left the bonfire party with plenty of time to get Becky's home. whole life was changed when she lost her son, and I think it's really important for people to understand when you know you're behind the wheel of the car, uh, you know, just within a flash, things can change, and you know these are potentially life-changing events, and it has been for Becky. So it's very important for us to support people like Becky Payne to make sure that we can you know, put something back in to her life and she's certainly put something back in to the safe and social driving priority under the OPCC and I think it's really important that we work together for that. No, it wasn't at all easy. I'm not a public speaker but I just feel it's such a, an important message to get across. I want them to be aware that they don't have to be doing anything wrong to have an accident. It can happen at any time to anybody.